Hey everyone, so it's starting to become the beginning of summer. You might want to be doing some exercising, you might be wanting to get outside, and those days where it's just a little bit too hot, you might want to stay in, you might want to enjoy your beautiful custom built PC, pre built PC, however you want to do it. Then you're like, you know what, hmm, I really want to get a little bit more performance. I know I can have a better experience. I might just actually go ahead, let's go out to the store, buy a very nice high refresh rate monitor maybe by a higher resolution like a 1440p or 4k or you want to get maybe 144 hertz or you want to get that new samsung a 240 hertz 4k you want to get that new alienware oled that actually came out and you are aren't ready to really push the amount of pixels on it with your current setup so you actually want to do a nice upgrade for yourself and we're going to be talking a little bit about that today because certain cases especially if you have uh, a pre-built case or uh, some type of power supply doing upgrades. If you have an older one from before, a lot of the newer cards do require a certain type of power supply and the cards are getting just so massive and so big now that even some of the smaller cases that you guys might have, it might not actually fit the case. So we're gonna be showing a great example of stuff like that today because I have this nice, beautiful HP pre-built. This is a nice Omen um, MATX, I believe it is, at least it's MATX board uh, case and which is a micro ATX case, which isn't the standard ATX case that you do see like the big ones. I have one here, like this one here. We're just gonna be covering it uh, real quick today just about what you should be looking forward to, especially if you're doing any type of upgrades, you wanna get a nicer card. Uh, if you're looking forward to maybe the older cards like the 3050s, 3060s, you might be totally okay with what you have right now, but if you're looking to really upgrade where you're getting like 3070s, 3080s, 3090s, 3090Ti's, um, or you wanna upgrade in the future, this is some, another good video to at least uh, just to make you guys aware of what's going on. So I'm gonna be just doing this upgrade for this one. Uh, there, we're, we do have a new graphics card we actually did, we are gonna put in. This is the 3070 KO. It's a really nice graphics card. And there's specific reasons why we did choose this one over uh, like another version of this card or a 3080 or 3090. So we have this nice MATX uh, case with this nice MATX board. Um, and we wanna make sure we put in the graphics card. Now, for any type of graphics card that you, you put in there, you wanna make sure that at least it fits, right? Because in smaller cases, especially for any of these new NVIDIA RTX cards, you're gonna have a certain size that just aren't gonna fit in, in a certain case because they're just so massive, they're so big. So it's a good way to really measure it. You wanna make sure that you get measuring tape to see how big your case can actually fit. So if we go here, we can fit probably around, just to be safe, about around 11 and a half inches that's the room we have to work with here the girth shouldn't matter as much because it's slots if you don't if you have like a pre-built or you don't have a lot of connections like an elgato or anything else or wireless card built in you usually have a lot of space you can have a few different slots that are available bigger slots are good because they have more um, space for cooling and that's usually what it is it's a big cooler another thing you want to look at too is the power connections on this power supply we have a 850 watt 850 watt power supply here and the only thing we have is we don't have any other uh, connections outside of these two, which are just our two um, eight pin connectors. A lot of the 3080s, 3090s, and in the, the aftermarket ones, if you have Asus, MSI, you're getting, you're getting the Strix, you're getting the Gaming X trios, those are going to, or Gaming Z trios, you're gonna be getting a three of these. So you would need three eight pin connectors. Now these pre-built ones, if you look here, there isn't actually another slot for them. Uh, there isn't at all. Now. Here, there's just, there's just these two here. So we only have two eight pins. We don't have any extra ones to work with. So if we're doing anything else, uh, especially that this isn't even a modular one, we would have to get a whole new power supply if we're gonna get anything else. Even though this is 850 watt, we still don't have the PCIe connections for another card. Another constraint that we do have here is because it only has two, uh, most likely that um, any other card that we're, we would have to upgrade, we would obviously have to get a whole new power supply just because of that. And if we do get a whole new power supply, we want to make sure we get at least ones that do have PCIe, at least three eight pin PCIe connections, which pretty much most of the modern ones, if not almost all of them on the market that have at least 850 watt, or uh, I think the minimum requirement is a 750 watt for the NVIDIA RTX. And they would actually be totally fine. You shouldn't have to really worry too much. You want to make sure that you use um, two or three of those cables though to be plugging in because they do recommend that, that you separate the cables. If you have one eight pin, make sure you put eight make sure you plug three eight pin cables into it into the power supply and make sure you plug it into your graphics card now um, even if we did an upgrade for graphics card we still have a problem because the the size of this one now i have one of the smaller 
uh, 3070s here, but that is actually still very good. And this is the 3070 RTX uh, KO edition here. And it does, you can see it does have the 2A pin here. Uh, most of anything else, even the Strix one, I believe, even has, um, even the Strix version of this one, the 3070, has more pins. So I believe that would be a 24 pin one. And that's for more power delivery, more overclockability, and lots of other things. And as you can see, this one, this is a 3070, it barely fits in this, this case. So we're going to actually just be putting it in right now because I need to do this repair anyway for our client. But there you go. So now it clips up. And you see even the size of it, right? There isn't any size really to work with. And this is a scary thing to do if you do buy a card that doesn't have the right size in here. Because if you don't have the right size, it's not going to fit. Then you might have to get another case. This part, I don't believe, some some parts you might see here might come off. This one actually doesn't. This one's actually taped. This one's actually part of the whole entire case here. And this one actually come off. So if we're doing anything for this, we would have to get a case. You would have to get a power supply. And then obviously a card that's going to at least make sure it does fit in well. And as you can see, it's it's still a very, very tight fit here. We're just going to be making sure I put these two in here because I'm just doing the repair anyway. But if you're doing any type of upgrade, that's what you're going to be looking at. Now, another good option maybe would be to get um, the Founders Edition if you can get that. They're usually exclusive to Best Buy as at least making this video. And there's not really a whole lot of other places that you can get from a retail store to actually go ahead and pick them up. And I do believe they, they will come, they come standard with uh, two 8-pin connectors, but then they come with an adapter that has their special 12-volt cable. Um, and you can get that, but I'm not sure on the size of because those are actually pretty big too. So you might have a problem with that as well. Now, if you have like a 3060, 3060 Ti, it's not really as big of a deal because I think the power constraints are a little bit different, but that's really about it. So um, if you're interested, obviously make sure that you check the sizes, get some measuring tape, make sure. Because even look at the size of this card, right? It's almost from the edge edge of this card is about 11 inches or maybe a little bit higher it's a little over 11 inches from the absolute edge of the card and if you look at the full size of the card it's about like 10.8 or something like that i think they just measure it from here so we just want to make sure that you measure a card uh, they have dimensions on every website before you buy a card but it's just something good to know of course i can't finish the video without at least giving you guys a nice little quick There we go. Everything's working. This one has some cool lights, too, on the side. Let me actually bring up the camera because you can't really... The <laughs> only thing about having lights on the side of it is you can't, <laughs> you can't really see. You see that inside? Look how nice that is, right? Woo! All right, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy watching this video, especially you guys who have those small uh, ITX cases. Uh, you really need to be careful. Um, buying anything because it might be bigger than the whole entire case itself there uh, especially for power requirements so you want to make sure you get power supply that's gonna actually fit accordingly and uh, make sure your everything's okay now for the future there's a 4000 series there's lots the, the RTX 4000 series about to come out and for the future it's a little bit harder to see exactly what's gonna happen there's lots of strange power requirements this video would be even more interesting for that um, definitely stay tuned when we do get in any of the 4000 series cards we'll definitely go ahead and talk about them power requirements um, what the power cables have there might be even like four or six 24 pin connections there might be special power supplies we don't know you've seen the memes before if you have to check out the subreddits and stuff like that but uh, who knows for that because that's gonna be really interesting the power requirements go higher since it's getting hotter that means you're gonna need a thicker cooler so the whole size might even be more ridiculous than it ever was i couldn't believe seeing this size uh, for the first time um when when i got one myself and obviously seeing this one how big it is and a 3090 we have a 3090 video if you want to go ahead and check that out it's like the size of my arm almost it's ridiculous it's huge so anyways hope you guys are watching learn something today if you did please leave a like it really just help us a lot subscribe, subscribe for more content and let us know down below what you guys are going to be doing to upgrade your computer this summer or are you guys going to be waiting for the rtx 4000 series what do you guys think love to know thanks a lot for watching take care